Hi everyone, the Violet here. So, uh, hi, uh, we're not seeing this look here, but uh, if you want to see this look on my Instagram, you can check it out because it's already there. Uh, but uh, if you're here to watch the witch tutorial, let's get on to it. Today we're going to transform in a traditional witch, but with a twist. We're going to be very creepy and cool. <laughs> Hope you guys like this new video and yeah, keep on watching. Okay everyone, let's get on to it. So I grabbed some spirit gum from Marin Makeup and I apply that on my nose and on my chin area where I'm going to place the prosthetics. Um, you gotta let that dry till it gets tacky and then you can glue down the prosthetics. Um, while that was drying, I grabbed some water and sprayed it on my age who, who, age who, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> on stick glue and glued on my eyebrows so they would get flat and ready to put on makeup on top. So here are the fantastic prosthetics that I got, um, they were really really cheap on a Chinese store that I got and yeah we're gonna do magic with them. <laughs> I also grabbed some alcohol to disinfect the prosthetic, uh, the one from my nose because it smelled kinda plasticky and weird and I don't know, uh, I did that and the smell just gone away, it was fine. Uh, make sure you make it uh, like you dry it really well before placing it on your nose with a spirit gum. Um, but then I placed it and then uh, the part around my nostrils were like really spiky so I cut those bits off and it was way more comfortable to wear it like that. It was uh, quite perfect. So just place it really well down and we're gonna do the same thing with the chin. Also you can do a little dance, <laughs> just feeling the vibe you know. Yeah exactly like that. <laughs> Um, and uh, after that we're gonna grab on some latex, also from Marin, um, and then we're gonna place some latex on top of the prosthetics to make them appear more part of ourselves, let's say that way. Also I noticed that the chin prosthetic uh, was forming some kind of vacuum, so I cut it a little tiny hole in the part that was downwards so it wouldn't do that weird stuff that it just did on my chin and it was quite perfect that way so now we're moving on to the latex part that i was just talking about just just gonna grab the latex and a sponge and we're gonna do some layers around it i applied like four five layers of latex around the prosthetics so I would make sure that they were like they would stay put during all the process and they would look more natural on my skin um, also when I apply the latex in between each layer I went to the bathroom and I blow dried the latex so it would be a faster and easier um, way of doing it <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, here I'm trying kind of to explain how many layers you should put. <laughs> Four or five, yeah, that's good. Uh, now I'm grabbing these cream palettes from iMagic Cosmetics and I'm gonna mix the pink with the blue and also with a bit of white so you can get that purpley shade that I was imagining on my head to do our witch thingy, witch look. Uh, here I forgot to do a step. Uh, when you apply latex, you should always, always uh, put on some powder. That's when I realized it. <laughs> Apply some powder with a sponge on top of everything that you did, that you just did, sorry, and uh, also apply it on your brows so that they will stay put as well. And then you will just wipe away, like the. If you have, like, uh, how do you say? If you have too much powder on in there, just wipe away. The excess and now with the sponge I'm just gonna blend the purple um, paint all over my face and also on my neck uh, also up ahead when I was working on the prosthetics I went on with a smaller brush so I could get all the crevices all the details <laughs> and yeah that's basically it be very carefully painting over the prosthetics because these are cheap prosthetics like uh, they are not very easy to you know stick them on and 
making them look natural and stuff so be careful when painting around them uh, always grab them while painting because you don't want to destroy the look but I do feel like with those layers of latex they were pretty well secured but for example the nose was so long that I was very scared that it would just fall off at any moment but thankfully it, it wasn't it, it like it didn't fall off at any point of this makeup and it was a pretty stuck on because in the end I just kind of pulled it off out of my face out of my nose but yeah it was pretty in there now with uh, makeup revolution c0 it, which is a white concealer I put it on a bit of this under my eyes and also I contoured my face a little bit didn't do much but didn't do much because it was just cream products on top of cream products and everything just blended together but it still gave some dimension to the face not much but it is uh, after that I powdered everything as much as I could especially the prosthetics um, I used a brush and then a powder puff but yeah basically what you gotta do is just powder everything as much as you can so that everything stays put now moving on to the Makeup Revolution, Tammy X uh, Makeup Revolution, I think, Revolution or something like that. Um, I grabbed the blues and the purples and I start contouring the face around the eyes, making an angry expression already. Um, also on my eye sockets, I applied a little bit of black. Also here I moved on to another palette that had a sparkly black uh, eyeshadow palette and then I apply that with my finger on my eye sockets with a black eyeshadow if this one is from Essence I was just uh, contouring a bit of my cheekbones and also I gave it like a round look to it so it would appear those you know old ladies cheeks you know I recommend you having some reference of you know an old witch <laughs> So you could know, so you can see where you should place the wrinkles and stuff. And stuff. For example, here I grabbed the um, Superstar Black Paint, and I'm just kind of lining all the wrinkles that are already present on the prosthetics. But also doing another new wrinkles on my face, and I did this also looking to a picture of reference because it was just easier, you know. So you know where you should place everything. I um, also painted those, how do you say it in English, those things on the nose and on the chin, I painted, painted black, also gave it a bit of wrinkles on the lips, yeah you gotta be very wrinkly, you gotta think that you're an old lady that has been through a lot <laughs> and yeah. So after this I just grabbed a grey eyeshadow, this one from the Wind palette from NYX was, it ended up being too light, so I just kind of grabbed a, another palette and worked with that, it was also a grey, it's from uh, Colourpop actually, yeah, the Smoke Show palette, uh, it has a darker grey and that actually went way better, I mixed the grey with also the black and just made those all those wrinkles a little bit more faded and gave it a bit more dimension with the shading nothing too complicated you just gotta draw, like draw the lines and then smoke them out a bit i guess that's how i would explain it in a simple way what it's gonna really bring uh this look alive it's gonna be the highlights and you're gonna see that next um but because everything is like I worked with very dark colors so the the lights that we're gonna put on next is what's really gonna bring this character to life so yeah so now I grabbed me snazzy pins I grabbed the gray and the white with the gray I'm going to draw some eyebrows some angry eyebrows which I always struggle I don't know why um, they always look like sad brows like I don't know 
Ah, it's just my life, it's just sad. <laughs> it resembles the eyebrows that I draw. <laughs> but anyways, I draw some eyebrows. Uh, I got the, ch the shape. Also cut the shape with a bit of that smaller brush that I used in the beginning. And then I decided that you're gonna, not gonna see that part of the, of the eyebrows, but I decided that it wasn't, it was sharp, way too sharp for an old lady. So I grabbed some black and purple paint and I did some stripes around the eyebrows to resemble ears and that looked way much better. You're gonna see in the end. Then I'm adding the highlights on top of all the wrinkles that we did making everything pop basically these highlights will look will make it look like the wrinkles are really deep and it's actually what makes the character so cool i think um i i added them on the prosthetics i added them on the face on the brows on on under the brows Some are just faded away, as you can see out here on my brow. I just kind of faded it away with my finger, so it wouldn't be too rash. And after all those highlights, you're kind of basically ready. Now be ready for the transformation, because this is the cool part. <laughs> Now let's get transformed. Hair on point. Ooh, lenses. And then the costume plus some lashes. And here we go, we have our cool, cool witch. I think this look was so cool. Also, I love this hat that I got. Um, by the way, the costume was just an old Halloween costume that my dad, or no, that my mom actually wore. So yeah, I just threw that in. And I think it looks quite cool. I didn't want it to do a green witch or like a normal whole witch because I don't know, it's been overdone, I think. And purple, I don't know, it's just one of my favorite colors and I thought that would look cool and it does, I think. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, enjoy more clips of this <laughs> awesome witch. <laughs> and yeah, any questions, any doubts, just comment below and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram for my 31 days of Halloween. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.